Okay, welcome back. So let's now talk about domain and range when we aren't given a graph. We have an equation. Well, like I said before, easiest way to do it, graph it. So we are going to go into our graphing calculator and hopefully if everything goes right, each of you should have a graphing calculator on your Chromebook. So we're going to go with that. Um, if not, I highly suggest getting a graphing calculator anyway. I know they're kind of expensive, but they're super useful. Um, it's what I will use in class all the time. So we're going to start here. On your graphing calculator, you're going to go to y equals, and you'll see down here in the bottom my key press history so that if you get lost, you can see what keys I hit to get to where we are. Okay, so now we got to type in our equation for question 10. We're on our y equals scene, so screen, so now we can just type. Looks like number 10 is 1 minus 2. I need my square root, which I can get by second squared. Square root of 3 minus x. Double check. That looks right. So now I'm going to go to graph. And it looks like there we are. We got it. And now we're going to think domain and range again. So x values first. What I want to know is this point right here. What does this graph go up to? So I can hit trace and then hit this little right arrow to kind of see what the graph is moving towards. Okay, we got to a point, the graph doesn't exist. So I'm going to go back again, 2.97. It's So it looks like it probably is going to go up to 3, 1 is where we're getting close to. So I'm going to come back to my worksheet here and draw a little sketch of this graph that I just saw. So it looks kind of like that and that. 3 comma 1 and from here same thing we just did so our domain for this one is going to be negative infinity we're going to go up to 3 because it's a square root graph it's a point so we're going to include that which means we want a bracket on 3 and our range will be negative infinity up to 1 our y values go from negative infinity up to the y value of 1. So there's that one. Okay, let's try 11. Go back to our graphing calculator. Go back to my y equals screen and clear it. Um, okay, this one, number 11, is a fraction. So there is a nice little trick on our TI-84 calculators to help us see this fraction. If you hit alpha and then y equals, you're going to see this screen come up right here. That was alpha y equals. And you see option 1 is n over d. That's a fraction. So I'm going to hit number 1 and voila, hey, I have a fraction. So on the top, I'm going to type 2x plus 1 for my numerator. Hit the down arrow to get the de get to the denominator, and then have x squared, my little squared key, plus 3x minus 10. So there's my equation. Once again, let's hit graph, see what we get. Looks like this one has some asymptotes going on. So if we go to approximate this, Looks like we've got an asymptote at 1, 2, 3, 4, at negative 5, and at 1, 2. So I'm going to sketch this with asymptotes at negative 5 and 2. Go back to our worksheet. Draw ourselves a little sketch. We've got that part of the graph. We've got this-ish kind of thing. And then we have this part of the graph. Draw our asymptotes in. We had one right here at negative 5 and one right here at 2. So 
So start with domain. Domain, we're going to go from negative infinity up to 5, but we don't want to include 5. So parentheses, oops, sorry, negative 5. Then we're going to go from negative 5 up to 2. Once again, not including any of them because they're asymptotes. They go up to that point, but don't include it. And then from 2 up to infinity. Range. Now if we look at that middle section again, because of those arrows on the end of it, that range is going to go all the way from negative infinity up to positive infinity, it's going to hit every single y value. So there we go. Okay, last one we're going to do is a class, number 12, go back to our graphing calculator, go to y equals, clear it. And let's type in number 12. So we got negative 2, then in your calculator we'll have a log button, x plus 2, end my parentheses, plus 1. Graph. And we've got this one. Now, you might get this one confused with a root because it looks like it ends right there. But if we looked at our equation, this is not a square root. There's no square root in the equation. This is a logarithm. Logarithms have one asymptote that they go up to that asymptote. So even though our graphing calculator isn't showing it, if you were to graph this on like desmos.com or whatever, you would see that there is an asymptote right here at negative two, that it's going, it continues up and gets closer and closer to that, but doesn't touch it. So we go back here, we're gonna sketch this. Looks something like that. Draw in our asymptote, right there at negative two. So our domain is going to be from negative two, are we going to include it or not? We are not going to include it because it's an asymptote. We go up to negative 2, but don't include it. All the way up to infinity because our x values keep going on and on and on because of that arrow. And then our range will be from negative infinity to positive infinity because this graph is going to keep going all the way up to positive infinity and eventually all the way down keep going because of that arrow to negative infinity so there's those ones i want you to do 13 14 and 15 on your own and that will be it for lesson 1.1 we're not going to talk about those story problems quite yet